So Zane is one of our fearless filmmakers on our team. To be a member of Team Super Tramp, it's not just a matter of being a cinematographer, a director, editor, you kind of have to do all the roles. So Zane is an amazing filmmaker and he is directing this shoot right now. I'm shooting behind the scenes, step back, helping with lighting. Um, I just want to help the process because we're all on a team working together. So it doesn't matter what your role is, you're just there to help cater to the story, make it the best possible. I'm excited about this. 360 is hard. It's kind of more like a play. I feel like in a lot of ways, because you're just kind of seeing a performance taking place because there's not a lot of camera angles to help you put into it. I get to act next to Christian, which I'm super stoked about. Are you about, a fan so. of his work? I am a huge fan of Christian's work. So, he is. from a director's perspective, how do you approach the scene? I approach it kind of actually, I go from the beginning to the end and then I kind of fill in between, but then I take each scene and look at it separately. So Devin is actually going to light this place because GoPros is what we're shooting with and GoPros don't work well in low lighting. So Devin is going to make this place look natural, but it's going to be Force, but it's gonna look great on the And where's the camera going exactly? The camera's gonna be here, so you'll be able to see 360. Most of the main action is gonna take place in this part. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I just want to, I, I just want to, until he starts clapping and then you guys realize. These are things like so you're seeing the director process unfold. So Zane, because Christian's the main actor in this, he's the one that's going to carry the story through. So all this focus is going on Christian right now. Then all the other people, all the other parts, they're going to kind of fit into the puzzle. Problem solving 101. Making it up as we go. Setting up really, really cheap, fake uh, champagne glasses. Maybe that's what they're called. And I've broken about six of them. So Carter's the chef. Art department. Art department. Crafty. Is it edible? It's all edible. Shasta looks like Red 7 Up, but it's cheaper. 20 bucks says she spills something before the end of the night. Brooklyn does. <laughs> so we got a little bit of a glare going on over here. We got a picture of George Washington. We're just trying to get the glare off. As Zane said, these cameras aren't amazing in low light. So we're bringing in the lighting. This will bring the people's faces so they pop. Because um, it's all about the people in the video. So we don't want them all dark. Um, so we're bringing the light. And we can't put the light right here. Like that's the thing with filming with 360 is you're looking everywhere. So you can't really stick lights here and here like traditional filming. So you have to be really creative. And I didn't have the arm long enough. So I had to like have it slanted like this. So if you look up there, it's like super ghetto rig. All the action's happening around here. So we're putting in a B board, so they call it in the industry, also known as a white sheet. And the light from right there, look up there, bounces down here, and then this bounces back on the actor's faces. The whole goal with this is you want to see the light in their eyes. This will reflect a little bit. Now this isn't going to change the whole scene by any means, but it will bounce some light a little bit. We know exactly what we're getting because we're using this right here as a reference camera. We are filming this video at Brian's house, a um, good friend of ours. Um, we did a video with him with flyboarding way back in the day. And we also filmed the Drone Wars video here with Brooklyn. So yeah, we're just here as a team working together. Everyone's getting ready right now. I got makeup. They're doing their own makeup because this is like a low profile shoot. But we're really excited about it. So, like usual, um, Devin had a fit and ran off. Um. <laughs> okay, that was a lie. He didn't. He doesn't. He doesn't. Do the truth is in the camera, baby. <laughs> this is the power source. Ten minutes. Now, get cool? this. This is like insane battery power. It's all getting hooked up to here, and everything's being run off of this. Now, the good thing is they actually have power down here. So we can plug in and kind of do our magic with that. This is a 360 Odyssey. I may not be calling that right. But Google and GoPro, they work together to kind of create this. So we're going to shoot this and then we're going to upload it to the cloud. And then they'll stitch it together and then we'll get those files back already stitched. And then we'll start editing it um, and then that's where the magic happens. All these GoPros, they're daisy chained together. And then the power source hooks in up here. We can record at the same time, we can turn them on at the same time, so this way we don't have to click each one individually. There's just all one power camera um, or master camera, and that's how we're powering everything. So right now Zane is the director, the fearless director, and he is talking to Christian about what we're going to be doing right now. And let's go back and see kind of the director process. Most of our interactions with the butler and I, mm -hmm. with, you know, um, is right, it's going to be like this. Or okay. I'll be, or I'll be switched like this, so we're okay. always like, even though it's 360, mm -hmm. let, we're just gonna kind of treat it like a movie. Based off the amount of people that we have, um, we're just trying to figure out how to make it look evenly and how to make this look like a party. And know? what did you just, just do with Christian just now? So with Christian, I went and I sat through the, and we went through the whole script entirely. So that way he could see, understand, like I went over the sound design, what it's gonna be sounding like in post. So he knows 
what he's thinking or the actor's thinking when stuff is going on. So the, the, the situation is it's not raining, it's actually kind of snowy outside, but we're gonna be hearing rain on the rooftops and we're gonna hear thunder throughout the thing. And so Christian's gotta have that in mind as he's the character. Also with the villain, the villain is gonna be speaking, but in post we're gonna add um, a loud booming voice where it kind of just overshadows the whole place. But it's not gonna sound that way when Tyson's just saying the lines. Okay. So Christian's gotta act like all this stuff. So it's just cool stuff to make, to, so Christian completely has the, you know, what's happening and so he can completely just get in the character. <laughs> I feel like a bird. It's Tyson! Oh, I had no idea. <laughs> he wow. really didn't? No, he didn't exactly you, you, you. Just, You're so creepy. Yeah. <laughs> I know. What's that? I mean, as creepy as Seth, you see, we've been planning this whole game here for many a days. We got them gambling over on the side over there, and then we got them schmoozing, and then them behind us also schmoozing, and then we're gonna be going around in circles, there's gonna be horses, we're gonna be making a good time. What's going on? I'm taking stuff off the masks. So where did you get this outfit? Uh, my mother's closet, oh. but she wasn't born in the 20s. Hey, you look sharp. Thanks, man. Hey, who no. are you? I'm M. And what are you doing? Why are you dressed like that? About to have some fancy dinner. Stand up, show this off. Oh, yeah. We got this at Exchange in Park City. Some people had to go out and rent their tuxedos. I firmly believe that every self-respecting gentleman should own their own tux. What's going through my mind? I'm trying to get in character. Get into character. I'm a murderer. And so so you are the bad guy. People. So I'm murdering people. Have you ever acted before like this? Well, we uh, did do a little bit of acting when we did Final Fantasy. But as far we'll as back villain, that video. As far as the villain. I have never had to kill anybody in my life. So this is the first time I've had to be mean. And what was your inspiration to get in character? Um, Phantom of the Opera. Fair enough, fair enough. Everyone is going to die in this. The camera is a character. So the camera is a woman who Christian's invited. Um, you guys are all not good people. We're gonna give some of you drinks. Um, just please do not spill them. Also, we're gonna have you hold them in your hands because um, we have the really tall champagne glasses and they all come on these little things. They just clip in, they're not sturdy at all. A bunch of them have broke and fallen over. So um, just always have it in your hand. They're not very full. And action. Get, get this young lady a drink, please. Uh, uh, no. I didn't say food, I said a drink. All right, now go get her a drink. Yeah, Take you're care of right, you're right, you're right. All right. This up. Okay. Okay. Yes. <laughs> right now? Yes, right now. Okay, I'll do it right now. Yeah, okay. Sam, I want you to wait. I want Christian to introduce himself first. Okay. And then I want you to come up to him and say, hey, and just like, great party, Mr. Bamothowitz. Okay. Mr. Bamothowitz. Thank you, Javi. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You, they always say in character, blows my mind. So we have the master camera right here, but we're using this as a reference camera right now. So Brandon and I are gonna be in the other room kind of seeing the shot. Cause Zane, the director, is one of the fearless actors in it, so he can't see what's going on. You know, trying to, this is my girlfriend right here. Obviously. Trying to talk to her, it's, not easy. It, you know, I'm trying to get used to it. Zane right now is awesome director, using his awesome directing skills, is telling everybody what they're gonna do. He's setting them up in the right places and everything like that. And uh, we're about to take our first shot, so. I'm trying to stay mysterious over here. I live in the shadow. <laughs> and you are the bad I guy. Kill. I am the bad guy. I'm the one that's gonna murder all these fools. But don't tell Sorry. anyone until you. Sorry. So we just did the first take. Um, we have some things we need to we, we fixed out. You know what I mean? Uh, just some minor things like the slap. He's, Christian's really slapping me. We really want to sell it. So, but everything's great. So we have really fancy, expensive food, as you can tell, and a really expensive tray, really cheap. Um, but we're making it work. Cool. Did you guys meet on a super trap shoot? Will it make you feel better about yourself if we say yes? It kind of is. It kind of is. That was actually our first date. Yeah, it was a week long date at Lake, at Lake Powell where we filmed the three videos. See, we make romance happen. <laughs> Best first date ever. I heed you to take this warning seriously and your party now. So they're going through the lines right now. Once again. So the lightning strikes that you're seeing in the video. That's faking all the cuts. I'm sure you are aware of that. Just in case you weren't, that's kind of how we hide it. So it's not like one super long take. We're making it look like it was a super long take, but um, we can do a lot more one by one by one. You guys think that it's the butler. You just think it was me. I'm a magician. That's what he, he said. 
And he's gonna start clapping and he's gonna be like, and then all you guys start clapping too. So they're rehearsing right now a take because the 360, we use that camera, it takes a ton of memory. So we do things in multiple rehearsals. So Zane's gone over it several times, kind of fine tune it. I usually do about two or three takes um, and then we do the real thing for, for reals. You know, I found him in a, in a toolbox at a train station when he was a young boy. I've raised him ever since then. Yeah, I just found a dead body. No! Oh! Wow! You mean you found somebody? <laughs> right. How was it? It was, it's interesting. This is my acting debut first line. So, it was good. Christian, you can see him in our Mario Kart video. We've done like six, seven, eight, nine, ten minutes together. Like a dozen. Amazing, phenomenal actor. And we get to see him firsthand right now. Oh. Thanks, Devin. You <laughs> son of a. Let's do it. Okay, yeah, let's do it. So, I'm not in this shot. Again, guys, I will clap. But be startled at Tyson. So, don't immediately be looking at him already. Like you're startled, then, oh, then you see him. Um, what's gonna happen is Tyson disappears again. Everyone's like oh, applauding, except for Christian. Christian's not applauding. He knows what's going on. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna run on, and he's gonna be like, "Where do you keep going?" Okay. I'll say, "I." He's like, "We need to distract them." While well, I figure this out. Okay. okay. And I said, "I got just a thing. I'm just gonna like walk on top of this table. I'm gonna stand right there. Scott, you're gonna leave at that same time because you're thirsty. And Tyson is seriously gonna run at you. It's gonna be like, yeah, pretty scary for people who are like, whoa. whoa. It's gonna be scary. You almost knocked down all these glasses with your cape. Tyson's gonna kill off everyone now. It's kind of quick. Originally I had a poisoning involved, but he's just gonna kill you all with blunt force trauma. We're just gonna roll, okay? So everyone is gonna be standing, panic. Maybe you guys can hold each other like you're scared. Stay in your spot, but just be acting frantic, okay? And Tyson's just gonna make his way around. Everyone's killing everyone. Okay guys, that's a wrap on our 360 video. Like Devin always says, this could not have happened without so many people. Um, huge thanks to Brian Trapnell and the whole Trapnell family for letting us use their house. They're amazing. Yeah. Thanks to Google for uh, supplying us with the Odyssey rig. Um, hope you guys like it. Please share, subscribe, and over and out.